All right, guys, so today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extremes Awakened uh, Team Metal Cooler or Metal Cooler Army consisting of the five free to play type Metal Coolers from the SDR one to AGL to Fizz to Tech and finally to Int. Now, the event we're showcasing them on is the GT Legendary Goku event, which is still considered to be one of the harder events in the game. It's definitely a end game event in my opinion. And if this team is able to clear the event without too many issues, then that means they can definitely destroy any of the token events in the game, uh, clear all of the infinite Dragon Ball history stages, and basically most of the events in the game with the exception of some of the really really hard ones like red zone or cell max and so on and so forth which would be super impressive for a mostly free to play team right so yeah with that said let's uh jump right into it now the reason i say mostly free to play is because we are running lr metal cooler leads and if you guys don't have an lr metal cooler then you could bring a friend lr metal cooler and then for your own lead you could go for something like uh, LR Final Form Cooler or AGL Metal Cooler, um, maybe an Extreme Lead like Tech Frieza, and so on and so forth, right? So on this first rotation, we have AGL Cooler, we have Tech Cooler, and also the LR, which I'll float. And as you can see, these free to play metal coolers share all of their links with each other. And while their links are not maxed out, they're pretty damn close. They're pretty damn close. So we're starting here with 166k defense for the AGL cooler, 177k for the tech one. And uh, I believe the AGL cooler builds defense with orbs. So let's give him six orbs here. And that gives him up to 249k. And they also all greatly raise defense on their super attacks, which is why I gave them uh, mostly additionals in their hidden potential system. So here we go, guys. Let's see what kind of damage we can get out of the uh, free to play metal coolers here. I know defensively, they're looking pretty solid. Offensively, not bad, 2.6 mil. Additional super, 2.6 once again, and he should be quite tanky at this point. Yep. Here's a super attack. I'm guessing it's going to be double digits once again. Never mind, we got the dodge. And 3.7 mil for the tech cooler. So the tech cooler gets uh, attack for every orb as opposed to defense. So pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay, so now we have the int one and the fizz one. The fizz one gets defense for every orb. The int one gets attack and defense. So... Let's give the Int one seven orbs, and that gives him 209,000 defense. Okay, and then we have eight orbs for the Fizz one, and he's up to 258,000 defense. Okay, so I just realized we do have type disadvantage here uh, with the Int cooler, so hopefully we don't get supered, but it's looking pretty good. Okay, 3.2 mil attack. And we're not getting supered, perfect. And only 2.6 mil for the Fizz one, but he did have a lot of defense there. We just didn't get a chance to see him actually tank. But so far, guys, I gotta say, I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. I mean, already it's pretty clear this team is much better than the other free-to-play teams in the game right now, which would be uh, Team Bardock and Ginyu Force, right? Those guys are still good. Those teams are still solid, but it's nothing like this. <laughs> it's, it's nothing like this. Okay, so now we have the STR cooler, and he is actually a support unit, but I believe he also gets attack for every orb. Uh, yes, he does. Okay, so let's do seven orbs right there, and then we'll give seven orbs to the AGL cooler. And then, I guess, six orbs to the tech cooler. And let's see how much damage the STR cooler can get. 
Okay, so we tank that for 18k. Not bad. Not bad. And oh, oh my god. 4.7 mil. 4.7. And that's without any additional support. Imagine if on this team we had like another support unit, right? That gives like 40% attack. He would have been over 5.56 mil, right? Like that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. So essentially these LR metal coolers are just here for their leader skill. I'm not really gonna use them much unless I feel like I really have to, but we're here to keep the focus on the free to play metal coolers and dude, they're looking very, very nice. They're looking very, very nice. So 232k for the Fizz metal cooler. He's a healer by the way. And it looks like we can't actually get many orbs for the int guy, which is unfortunate. That's only one orb for 175k defense. And uh, I'll give these, I guess, to the Fizz Metal Cooler. LR Metal Cooler, that is. Okay, so still tanking well here. 2.6 mil attack. And he did greatly raise defense, so I feel like we should tank pretty well if we get supered. I feel like this shouldn't hurt too much. It might do a little bit of damage. 84k, alright, okay, so that's some damage. It's some damage, it's nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, we can take that for sure. And I'm pretty sure we'll heal 5% HP at the end of this turn because of the Fizz Metal, wait, hold on. I get, I'm getting them confused a little bit. I think it's the Fizz one that heals, or is it based on damage? Oh no, okay, so this guy is 15% of damage dealt as HP that he heals. So who heals us for just straight up HP? Oh, it's this guy. Yeah, he recovers 10% HP at the start of the turn. There we go. Okay, so I got them mixed up a little bit. That's my bad. And let's see. Um, on this turn, I think we're going to have to only give two orbs to str that's five orbs for agl and yeah i feel pretty good about putting the lr metal cooler at the end there i mean if we die then we just get the revival skill right so it doesn't really matter okay so 3.4 mil for str metal cooler agl getting 2.8 decent very decent and of course lr metal cooler is going to do his thing so he's going to be a little bit more impressive but this guy's a summonable LR. He's a carnival summon LR, so we can't really compare him to the free-to-play ones. So, guys, I mean, at this point, um, I gotta say, this team's really good. <laughs> this team is really, really freaking good. Uh, I'ma let the tech cooler finish things off. Let's just give him five orbs, and that should be more than enough damage to kill off the uh, GT Goku. Now, one thing you might notice is that we're gonna take a little bit more time than normal to clear this event, which is to be expected, right? This is a free to play team. It's not gonna hit as hard as like GT Heroes or, you know, a summonable Wicked Bloodline team, but they're holding up really, really well, which is what's impressive to me. Okay, so LR Metal Cooler goes there. Uh, let's do let's do four orbs for AGL. He does have the chance to dodge as well, which is nice. And then only two orbs for STR. So the board is not great for us right now. I'm not able to get a ton of orbs, which uh, is annoying. That could become an issue. Obviously, that's very RNG dependent. Uh, nice dodge there and also some nice tanking. And STR metal cooler, 3.4 mil and also taking normal for double digits, as you would expect. Um, there's one thing, one other thing I wanted to say, but I completely forgot. I'm trying to remember right now. Okay, this might suck. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so let's give four orbs to Fizz. That's gonna be 206K, six orbs to Tech. And there's two orbs for the LR.
yeah, so it's gonna take a bit of time. But we're making good progress. And I think I'm gonna have to... I think I'm gonna have to uh, use some support items near the end of this event. Like when we get to the Super Saiyan 4s, I think I'll have to pop probably, you know, an Icarus or a Whis. But for now, things looking good. And my whole thing is, if I'm able to clear this event, then it's a really good sign. I know it's a really, really good sign. And obviously having the double LR Metal Coolers does help. Like, I'm not going to deny that. But I don't even think they're necessarily uh, necessary. <laughs> you know, I don't think they're super necessary. I think you can actually get away with using um, a 170% lead for your leader. Or even maybe a 130%. Not ideal, but probably still still doable and would still make them quite good. But if you can, of course, 200% leads with the two LR Metal Coolers would be the best case scenario. All right, um, let's see. You know what, I kinda wanna, hmm. I kinda wanna put the LR there just so we can get some more orbs for the Fizz one. And also, you know, potentially get that revival skill. So I'm gonna break my rule a little bit. We're gonna keep the LR in the first rotation here because of how hard this guy hits. It'll get rough if he supers us. Oh, there's the additional, okay. I'm hoping actually that he kinda, yeah, I'm hoping he supers actually the free to play Fizz Cooler because I wanna see, oh, never mind. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh wow, we didn't die. Yo, I was sure we were gonna die. All right, all right, let's see how much damage we take from the normal here. 69. That's amazing, guys. Yo, that is actually amazing. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put AGL cooler there. That's gonna be six orbs for him. For the STR, we give three orbs. And, uh, oh, Dokken attack. There we go. Dokken attack coming for the AGL Metal Cooler. Tank that normal like it was nothing. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Attack stat is 2.8. 2.8. So just imagine this from, from the perspective of like, a, a new player, right? Like a completely new free-to-play player. And, you know, you're having trouble farming metals for some units you just pulled, right? Let's say you just pulled like LR Final Form Cooler, or let's say you pulled like the seventh anniversary LRs, or whatever the case may be. And you need to get their Dokkan Awakening medals, but you're like, yo, these Dokkan events are so hard, I can't beat them. Now, if you farm this team up, um, Yo, it's gonna be a breeze. You can awaken any unit you want, and that's kind of the main struggle, the initial struggle for a lot of new players, just getting token awakening medals, right? And now that's not gonna be an issue at all, which I just think is incredible, man. Like, that's something that we never had access to, you know, when we first started out. Like, we just had to struggle. Like, I was using Dragon Stones to, like, continue stages for... <laughs> for certain Dokkan events so I could actually get the medals because I was too lazy to restart, right? So yeah, now completely new players, um, not only are they able to collect Dokkan Awakening medals, they're also able to beat most of the events in the game with this team alone. And that's just awesome. That, that really is awesome. All right, so we're taking a super now. 17K guys. 17,000 damage from LR, or sorry, from Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I mean, that's just wild. That is just wild. I know, I know this event is taking a while, but like, we're gonna get through it for sure. Like, there's no, no doubt in my mind that we're gonna beat it, right? And... That's just really dope, man. <laughs> That's just really dope. Okay, let me see what these guys can do now. We should get some dodges. There we go. There's one. Three mil attack 
with the support from the STR Metal Cooler. There's the additional super, 3 mil once again. He dodged it, of course. That's cool. And STR should hit pretty hard. 4.7. There we go. And of course he dodges that too. Okay, so he's just prolonging the pr prolonging the showcase, prolonging the event. Uh, 4.5 mil from Tech, and there's the crit. Perfect, perfect. And as I'm sure you can you can see, like the the defense is really really impressive. Uh, 232k for Fizz, 220k for Int, but again they greatly raise defense on their super attack for one turn right so if you're able to super first then that's going to be bumped up to like 300k plus which is not crazy like that's definitely going to get you wrecked in the hardest events like red zone and stuff like that but in events like this in dokan events in if they dragon ball history um and most other things you're you're going to be okay with that much defense like that much defense is actually more than a lot of summonable units in the game can get to like 300k plus that was actually really gr like really high for the longest time until recently where events started hitting really really hard and uh 300k was just not enough but for most of the games like history up until maybe like a year or two ago uh 300k is like a lot of defense like that's one of the better defenders in the game you know what i mean so yeah um these guys are impressive <laughs> these guys are impressive there's not much more to say there's not not many other ways i can say it uh i'm super impressed by this team right now i really am all right so i think lr metal cooler is going to finish this off and then we just have the full power super saiyan 4 goku so far no items have been necessary i do think that we might have to use one item maybe against full power super saiyan 4 or maybe hmm yeah let's do it like this let's put int there give him seven orbs now put the fizz one at the end uh it's a little scary gotta be honest it's a little scary with oh never mind eight orbs for him okay it should be fine no items guys let's see how these guys fare Let's see how they fare. An additional super would make me feel very safe. If we got two supers, double stacking, then we should be great. If not, there might be a little bit of danger. There might be a little bit of danger. Ooh, okay, so this, I think it's gonna hurt. Um, I wanted him to super either the Int one or the Fizz one. He supered the Tech one. And the Tech one, um, doesn't have type advantage and also doesn't build or doesn't get defense for orbs so as expected we took quite a bit of damage there <laughs> that's okay though that's okay i will have to pop a Whis because of the presence of the agl goku or sorry not agl agl metal cooler who doesn't dodge either um anymore because you know Goku cancels dodge, so we gotta be careful with him. So Whis was very necessary. And eight orbs for the AGL cooler. Let's look at the defense here. 299,000. And there we go. Okay. Give me your best shot, Goku. Give me your best shot. So tanking so far for double digits. Alright. Double digits, yep. There's the super. Would have been nice if you waited for me to uh, super first, but it's all right. 247k. So I'm glad, I'm glad I popped the Whis. And we never said this is going to be a no item run. Right? I never claimed it would be no item. Um, the main concern was like whether we could actually beat it. And the verdict is yes. Yes, absolutely. We can absolutely beat it and without too many issues either so dokkan events are going to be a breeze dokkan events are going to be a joke and the gt legendary goku event is unquestionably harder than any of the um any of the infinite dragon ball history stages so that's going to be quite the breeze as well and yeah i think we 
Wait, do I have a Whis active? Has it been two turns? I don't really remember. Okay, just to be safe, I'm gonna pop in a curse as well. <laughs> just to be safe. Okay, so four orbs for Int. Only three, unfortunately, for the HGL, and I am concerned about his defense. So even if we even if we double items, I think that was probably a good call. And I'm not gonna use the active skill for for the LR Metal Cooler. I know it heals for 30%, but I just feel like I need to rely mostly on the power of this Metal Cooler for to play a Metal Cooler team without the assistance of the LR Metal Cooler to get this done, just to show people exactly what this team is capable of, you know? Um, okay, so no super this turn, so I probably didn't need to item, or, you know, maybe double item. I don't, I'm not sure, I don't remember, but... Better safe than sorry, guys. <laughs> better safe than sorry, as I always say. <laughs> okay, so... Let's do Fizz first. Yeah, Fizz first. Only four orbs, unfortunately, but not too bad. We're gonna have to put AGL in the middle. Yeah, because it's only one attack in the middle. And then... Six orbs for SDR. Should be okay. Should be okay. Double super would be nice. Okay, just one single super. We still have Whis active though, so we're gonna take 129k, not too shabby. Not too shabby, I gotta say. That's really solid. Really solid, of course. No crit, so no damage from the AGL Metal Cooler. 4.3 mil for SDR. Additional super, let's go. Crit? No crit, okay. By the way, I only gave these guys either level three attack bronze skill orb or level 3 uh, defense bronze skill orb and no silver or gold so if you really wanted to you could definitely deck these guys out with uh, with a lot more like better skill orbs and they would be even better than what you see here so this is not even the full potential of this team they're not maxed out links even though they're close and they don't have the best skill orbs. So if you really want to give them good skill orbs, they could be even better, which is the craziest part. Yeah, so I did an item this turn because I know that Inn's Metal Cooler will eat anything that Goku can t uh, throw at him. And then the, uh, of course, LR Metal Cooler will get the revival skill if we die. So there was really no concern there. And we didn't really take that much damage from the, from the super attack, so. That was nice. That was nice. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. No! So I was first concerned that LR Metal Cooler would finish off Goku, which I didn't want because I wanted one of the free to play ones to do it. And then he got the additional after the dodge. So sadly, it was still the LR Metal Cooler that finished it off. But it definitely could have been one of the free to play guys. It definitely could have been one of the free to play guys. Um, so there you go guys, that is the showcase, that is the uh, Legendary Goku Event Clear, GT Legendary Goku, Goku Event Clear, with the new way to play Metal Cooler Army, and you can't sit there and tell me that you're not impressed by what you just saw, because these guys are awesome. This team is awesome. If you haven't completed the team yet, what are you waiting for? What are you doing? I mean, it's 100% worth your time. It's 100% worth your effort. And you also need to get them done anyways to get your uh, free guaranteed LR multi, the 50 special summon tickets, right? So you gotta do it anyways. You might as well, you know, get this amazing team out of it. And uh, kudos to Bandai, man. Kudos to Akatsuki for making these guys as good as they are. Because like I said, they'll be able to stomp most of the events in the game. Like literally 90% of the events in the game, with the exception of the truly, truly hard ones, the truly end game events, which uh, even whales, even long time players have trouble with, you know, and die um, in those events. So yeah, these guys probably can't clear, you know, Red Zone Broly or Red Zone Sin Shenron or whatever the case may be. But 
that's okay because we don't expect them to do that. They can beat most of the events and that's good enough for me at least. So that's it guys. That's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.